lives with the agony of migraines every day? Well, if so, have you taken a look at your diet? There are some obvious triggers in the food supply, but there are also ones that may surprise you. Dr. Andrew Lipton joining me now to walk us through them. Thanks for being here. Okay, we have the obvious ones like sugar and caffeine, but this one struck me, tyramine. What is that? What's, well, what tyramine is an amino acid that's in many foods. And what we find with migraines is that once people get a migraine, they have a neurological pattern. Like we use our muscles and we train them, which are run by nerves, but the pattern then is set off by many forms of inflammation. Tyramine is one of them, but there's lots of foods in our diet. Our standard American diet has a lot of pro-inflammatory foods. And once someone gets that pattern of migraines, anything can trigger it. So Smells, some hormones. Give you some of the examples. I mean, I'm reading here bananas, raisins, things we eat every day. Well, nightshades are one, and actually perfumes or smells, hormone panels. And again, once you become a migraine sufferer, there's things that can affect you that never affected you before. Mm. And so changing your diet and clearing it out of things that may potentially cause inflammation or dietary allergies uh, or all the tyramine con containing. Now, interesting, some of the things that cause it may also treat it. Right, like okay. caffeine and chocolate. And, and, and preservatives are also a bad one. We don't just talk about MSG, but other preservatives in food. Well, again, anything in food that may cause a little inflammation, that may not be natural to our body, may trigger that pattern of a migraine coming on. Salt is another bad one, and, I, and cold foods. It's not just when you, know, you, you feel that cold sensation, that really could trigger a headache. Well, both of these, the salt and the fluid changes, cold fluids, change the blood flow. And one of the theories on migraines is vascular, another one is hormonal. There's lots of different theories, but clearly, once you become a migraine, or migraineur, anything can trigger it. All right, the second topic I want to talk to you about are these relaxation drinks. Some of the names, I chill, unwind, snoozeberry. What is in these and are they dangerous for us? Well, in general, there are low calorie um, sodas or soda drinks or beverages that have herbal remedies like um, valerian and like melatonin and uh, like other amino acids that are somewhat relaxing. Uh, I guess there are better alternatives than, than drinking sugar sodas, but water is probably the best to drink. Uh, most of these herbal remedies are relatively safe and relaxing, and I think they're fine to take. I would suggest that parents be careful in giving them to children. Uh, but melatonin and theonine and uh, uh, the valerian are great herbal or supplemental remedies that can help relax people. Well, clearly you don't want to drive a car, but really quickly, the FDA sent letters about this even last year, you know, to put out warnings about this and for people to be careful. Well, melatonin is a hormone, and certainly with younger people or people that are sensitive to foods, you, you may have some effect in, in, in being sedated. In general, most herbs have a fraction of the side effects that that uh, medicines have, and so it's generally pretty safe. Uh, I, again, water is probably the best ever beverage. Uh, compared to alcohol, it's probably a little bit uh, safer. Stick with your water. What, six to eight glasses a day? Dr. Lipton, thanks so much for coming.